Not many people can say that they're a meme two and a half thousand years after they're born, but this guy can. Hello, my name is Mr. Q, and I'm here to tell you about Confucius, the ancient Chinese philosopher. What made him so famous, and why do people still follow him today? His teachings known as Confucianism, are a philosophy on how to live a moral and ethical life. This is done through rituals, having manners, and having respect for your ancestors. I like to think of him as the Yoda of the ancient world. Historians believe that Confucius was born September 28th, 551 BCE. But like a lot of things from this far back, it's hard to tell what's fact and what's myth. But we do know some things. The times Confucius lived in really needed some order. Even though China was one of the most advanced civilizations in the world, by the 5th century BCE, the Zhao dynasty had fallen. There were wars all the time. Confucius's father was a soldier, and he lost him when he was 3 years old. After that, he was brought up by a single mom and became a devoted student. In his teenage years, Confucius had many jobs, like accountant, shepherd, and clerk. Then, he wandered the countryside sharing his philosophy. He even got into politics to try and change how the country was run. He urged leaders to treat their people with respect and to lead by example. This didn't make him popular with warlords or people in the government, though. So, in his 30s, he went back home and started a school. He taught young men ethics, history, psychology, and the arts. Education used to be only for rich people. But Confucius was way ahead of his time, and he wanted it to be available to people of all classes. He thought that the more people who lived well, the better off the world would be. The reason we know so many of Confucius' sayings today is because they were written down in a book called The Analects. It was compiled by his students in the years following his death. Actually, it took them about 30 to 50 years so there's probably a bunch of mistakes in there. I mean, I find it hard to remember things I learned in school last week. But the overall message survives. We know that Confucius was fond of the golden rule, which is an old idea that became a part of a lot of religions. Treat others the way you wish to be treated. Some other of his most famous sayings are, real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall. And one of my favorites, never give a sword to a man who can't dance. That's just good advice. The sad thing about Confucius is that by the time he died, he thought that his life's work was a failure and that nobody was listening to him. In fact, his teachings did fall out of favor for a while. But by the time of the Han Dynasty, they became the official philosophy of China and continued to have a big impact on governing until the 20th century. That's because Confucius's teachings were used in the imperial service exams that young men had to take in order to get government jobs. Leaders also liked the philosophy because it emphasizes respect for family and social hierarchy, so it could be used to stop people from questioning their rule. Sounds like they were conveniently forgetting the part where Confucius said that those in power should lead by example. Confucius became more known in the West when his teachings were converted into English by James Legge in 1867. Chinese imperial rule ended in 1911, which is a really interesting subject and we'll do a whole episode on it later, and Chairman Mao's Communist Party rejected Confucianism during the Cultural Revolution. But these days it's seen as a big part of Chinese national identity. It also influenced other East Asian cultures, like Japan, Korea, and Vietnam. As Confucius would say, the journey of 1,000 steps begins with one step. What's your favorite Confucius saying? Look them up and type them in the comments. I can't wait to read them. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you want to be the first to see our new episodes. And be sure to join our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for new exciting updates and behind the scenes. Until then, I'll see you next time.